This is part 18 of Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating button groups. Let's understand this with an example. Let's say we want to create a button group that looks like this. At the moment, within Visual Studio, I've got six buttons. Notice on these buttons, we have applied different button classes. So if we view this page in the browser, this is how those buttons look like. These are the individual buttons. Notice there is a space between each button. Now what we want to do is, using these buttons, form a button group that looks like this. And it's very easy to do. All we have to do is wrap these button elements inside a div element with class btn group. Let's do that now. Let's create a div element, set its class to btn-group. And then move the closing div to the end. Let's save our changes reload this page. Notice now we have a button group and here is that HTML. Let's now discuss creating a button toolbar. Within the button toolbar right here, we've got three button groups. Within the first button group, two buttons. In the second button group, three buttons. And in the last one, two buttons. Let's see how we have created this button toolbar using these three button groups. Let's flip to Visual Studio. At the moment, we have all the six buttons in one button group. Let's include another button here. And I'm going to change the text to button seven. Let's change the class here to button primary. Now, we want the first two buttons to be in one group. So after the second button, I'm going to create another group. And then we want the next three buttons to be in the second group. So I'm going to create another group right here. So we have closed this button group. We need to close this one. So here, let's include a closing div. And similarly, we need to close this group as well. So let's include another closing div here. And to format this HTML properly, I'm going to use keyboard shortcut Control K and D simultaneously. Now, Using these three button groups, we want to create a button toolbar, and that's very easy to do. All we have to do is wrap all these button groups inside a div element with class btn-toolbar. Let's do that now. So I'm going to create a div element here, set its class to btn-toolbar, and then let's move this closing div element to the end. Let's save our changes, and when we reload this page, we get a button toolbar. And here is the HTML for that. Next, let's discuss how to create button groups with different sizes. Here, we have three different button groups with three different sizes. We have a large button group first, and then a small button group, and then an extra small button group. Let's see how to create these button groups with different sizes. So the first button group, we want that to be a large one. So I use a different class for that, and that is button group LG. LG stands for large. Similarly, if you want a small button group, you use PTN group SM for small. And if you want an extra small button group, you use BTN group XS for extra small. Let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, notice we get button groups of different sizes. Here is the HTML. At the moment, the buttons within each button group are lined up horizontally. Now what we want to do is line up these buttons vertically within each group, as you can see here. And this is very easy to do. All you have to do is, instead of using btn group class, use btn group vertical. And let's use this class on every button group. So instead of btn group, we are going to use btn group vertical. Let's save our changes. And when we reload the page, notice the buttons are now vertical in each group. Here is that HTML. Let's now discuss nested button groups. Here's an example. Within the first button group here, we have two buttons, button one and button two. This drop-down menu is present in another button group that is nested in the button group that has these two buttons, button one and button two. Let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. First, I'm going to create a button group which is going to contain those two buttons. So I'm going to create a div element with class set to btn group. 
and within this button group we need two buttons and to get the buttons I'm going to use an anchor element set its href attribute to hash and let's use the classes btn and btn primary so for this button the text is going to be button one similarly let's include an anchor element to get the second button again the classes are going to be btn btn dash primary the text for this button is going to be button 2. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page we get button 1 and button 2. So these two buttons are present in this button group. Now within this button group I'm going to nest another button group. So I'm going to create a div element with class set to btn group. So now we have a button group that is nested inside another button group and within this button group we want this drop down list so I am going to paste the HTML that I have copied to get that drop down list and these classes drop down toggle caret drop down menu we discussed these classes in detail in one of our previous videos so basically these classes and this data dash toggle attribute are going to give us the drop down menu so this drop down menu is present in this button group which is nested inside this button group that has got these two buttons so let's save our changes and when we reload this page we get what we wanted notice here we have a drop down list when I click on that we get the menu items and we have the two buttons as well button 1 and button 2 here is that HTML next let's discuss creating justified hyperlink elements button group the buttons within this button group are created using hyperlink elements we want this button group to be justified meaning the buttons within this group should span the entire width of its parent element let's see how to achieve this let's flip to Visual Studio here we have a button group with six anchor elements since we have applied button classes on this anchor element they are going to be styled as buttons so when we reload this page we get a button group but notice these buttons are not spanning across the entire width of its parent in this case the parent is the grid column so these buttons are present within this grid column now we want the width of these buttons that are present in this button group to span across the entire width of this grid column and we can very easily achieve that by using another class and that is button group justified so when we reload this page notice now the buttons within that button group are spanning across the entire width of its parent in this case the parent is the grid column here is the HTML for that finally let's discuss creating justified button elements button group remember in bootstrap there are several ways to create buttons you can create a button using a hyperlink or you can create a button using any of these elements button input type equals button or input type equals submit if you have created a button group using hyperlink elements then creating a justified hyperlink elements button group is straightforward all you have to do is use button group justified class but if you have created button groups using any of these elements then in addition to using button group justified class we also have to wrap each button inside a development with class set to button group otherwise it wouldn't work as expected I have this same HTML already copied so I'm going to paste it right here notice we are using button group justified class in addition we have also wrapped each button inside a development with class set to button group let's save our changes and when we reload the page we get justified button elements button group as expected thank you for listening and have a great day